Welcome to the McAllister Report. We join John McAllister, top football evaluator, as he shares wisdom and interviews coaches and athletes from around the country. Enjoy today's podcast. Hello, this is John McAllister with the John McAllister Report. Today, we're going to go into around the state and we'll talk to a quarterback out of Toledo Scott High School. Carnell Smith II is a 6'4", long quarterback that that throws really well and it's going to consistently get better. Enjoy talking to him. He's uh, articulate. He's smart. Very easy to talk with. Yeah, uh, a lot of room to get bigger and stronger. He's uh, seems like a tremendous young man. My guest is from Toledo Scott High School, Carnell Smith II. He is a quarterback. He's probably 6'4". He listed at 6'5", but he's, a, he's tall and thin and long. And he, he quarterbacks at first year starting this year, Carnell? Second year starting. Second. You started as a sophomore, didn't you? Yes. That's right. I should have known that. And I will, right away, I will compliment you. And the Toledo Scott program has come a long ways. Thank you. Now, I've been doing this a long time. Boy, the video and the a lot of things are happening good at Scott, you know, in football. Okay, why football, Darnell? Um, well, at first, I, I didn't start playing football until the fourth grade. So from kindergarten, I say to six, I was playing soccer. So. I really, I really fell in love with soccer. And then I started playing basketball first, but I started watching YouTube videos and started watching Sunday night football with my dad. I'm pretty sure the first football game I watched was a game, Sunday night football, the Chiefs versus the Patriots. And ever since then, I just fell in love with it. So I just took it around with it. And you're a quarterback. Why yeah. quarterback? Um, well, my first position in football when I was in fourth grade was O-lineman. So <laughs> I, was, I was the biggest one on the team, so they just put me right there. But would be on the line, and I just knew that I, just, I didn't want to do that. And I just saw the quarterback, and I was like, well, I want the ball in my hands every play. So I just worked to be a quarterback. Well, that's really good. And I have to interject here and to make your dad happy. He was a pretty good football player in his day. Yes, he was. 265, and I need to go back through my records because I think he played in the late 80s. But I yeah, think he played in the late high 80s. School, high school. Yes. And, and uh, I think he – and uh, I – I didn't start doing this till about 1990, so I may have missed them. But anyway, no offensive line. No, you don't want to be that. Okay, you talked about basketball. Uh, tell me about basketball. Play and mix in the two. How is basketball good for football? Um. Well, I feel like it's just something like I I use it as like something to do. You know, if you're if you're really a competitor, then you're going to compete in anything you do. So. I like I I really like basketball because it helps it helps me compete, it helps me stay in shape, and it's probably not my first love anymore, but it's still a really good sport. Okay, what uh, what are the keys to your success in football so far? What do you think are some strengths that you have in football so far? Um, I feel like my football IQ is really high. You know, I know how to I know how to read the defense really well. I know I know where the ball needs to go. I know how it needs to get there. You know I have a really good um, I have a really good bond with my receiver, so it makes it even easier. I'm really good friends with everybody on the field, and I feel like I'm a really good leader. Okay, that's really good. Uh, you study much film? Yes. Uh, every every week I like sit down for a day with my dad, and we go over the film for like the opposing team. And the opposing team, and then your own team as well. Your your throws and stuff like that. But the opposing team, that's really good. I, You know, when your dad played, I think we had the 16 millimeter or something. It was really, really hard. But that's all we had. But now, my goodness, you can sit and look on your watch and watch yourself play or obviously sit on your phone. And I think it's so, so important for quarterbacks to study film yes. and see if you can pick out something. 
from, I think it's important for everybody to study film. Linemen, defensive guys, but quarterbacks for sure, too. It's really good. What, who, who so far has kind of been an influence on you, your life? Who, who, who's been kind of a, a person, if there is one, that's kind of kicked you in the butt a few times, you know, give you the look? Who, anybody like that? Anybody encourage you? Um, definitely my dad, you know, my dad, he's probably my number one supporter. He supports anything I do, anything I want to do. You know, as you may know, my dad played defensive end. So I told him I want to be a quarterback. He didn't look at me crazy. He said, you know, we're going to try this quarterback thing. But so he's my, he, he's my, he's my, probably my biggest supporter. So when I do something good, he gives me a lot of praise, but he does let me know when I'm doing something bad. He lets me know. He gives me straight. Uh, super. And you, and you won't regret that. What about, what about uh, school? Your dad's the principal, I think, at Scott. Yes. With me? Okay. That's a tough job. A tough job. How is it hard on good or bad for you to have him as principal? Um, I really, I honestly, I, I really don't see really in any advantages or disadvantages, you know. Good. My teachers there at Scott, you know, they teach, they treat me as equals. They don't really like, they don't try to like, <laughs> They don't try to like rub it in my face that my dad's the principal. If I like do something, okay, so that's good. Okay, let's go back and talk football. Your quarterback, okay? What do you, you know? What do you think you have to work on? We talked about your strengths, but what do you have to work on as a quarterback? What do you have to get better at? Um, I feel like I have to get stronger. Definitely, I definitely have to get stronger. I'm trying to. I'm I'm on the track right now. I definitely. More, more, the big thing is my athleticism. I'm really trying to get faster right now. Yeah. You, I, okay. And what else? Faster. I'm trying to be able to. I, I'm. I actually been studying a lot of film, like on quarterbacks, like a lot of film room breakdowns. I'm trying to read defenses better. Trying to like read like the um, like if the defense does this, what to counter it. So right. yeah, basically just trying to expand my IQ at the end. That's really good. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser, from told me once. And when he went to Notre Dame, the first two or three, two months, they never touched a football. You know, he just worked on film study, worked on film study. And I think it's really good. My suggestion to you is develop your core muscles, your chest and your back, because that's where it's all about. You know, you're, you know, I don't think quarterbacks have to have great upper body muscles. You know, baseball pitchers don't. They don't lift like that. And I don't think quarterbacks have but boy, they gotta have the because that's where the RPMs come from. It's not your arm, your right. size of your arm, it's your chest. You know, that's what really and then plus your natural throwing ability. I really liked you on film. I think we talked about is is you know, maybe keep your feet under you a little bit more and don't overstride too early if you do. And then I think the other thing is always think about putting that money in your left pocket putting the money from your right hand into your left pocket. Yeah. And, you know, I've, and I was just up at Michigan last week and watched those guys. They all do that. They all do that. No matter what people believe, that's what quarterbacks just think about putting that money in. And you, your accuracy is really good. At least it looks good on video. And that's so huge right now. Accuracy and leadership. And I think you got the leadership. I don't know that because I've never seen your work, but, uh, I will this summer. <laughs> I will. And I can tell you in a seven on seven if you got leadership or not with your players. Okay. Here's my first silly question. Okay. My first silly question. What talent do you like to have? Would you like to have, but you don't and you'll never get? Um, <laughs> How's that? I think my talent that I'd like, like to have that I don't is probably being, being able to sing like really good, being a really good singer. You don't have that? No. Nah. <laughs> okay. That's what a lot of guys say. Singing or dancing, I think. Yeah, that's another yeah. big thing. Yes, and I wish, yeah. Okay. Who, if you had a chance to hang out or, or exchange places with somebody, anybody, anybody across the country, NFL, and anything, Anybody, who would it be and why? Who would you change places with and why? Um, 
probably I'll probably say like LeBron James because like he's considered the GOAT and he's considered the GOAT to get us all time. And like he just has I just wonder I just want to know what like a regular day like looks to him. Like I don't know. Like does he like check his phone? Does he play the game? I I don't know. I just want to see what he does in a regular day. LeBron James. That's yeah. really good. You know, if if I had a dollar for everybody that told me that, I'd be a rich guy. <laughs> A lot of people like LeBron James. They really do. I I met him at a f- high school football game. I would tell you, this was back when he was, I think he's still with, I think he was with Cleveland. He's the biggest athlete I've ever seen. Yeah, he was a really <laughs> good player. He's huge, but okay. Okay, let's talk about what, what were, this is kind of a hard question. What words do you live by? What, you know, a saying, I, when I was a coach, you know, I had sayings all over the locker room. I was an English teacher. I had sayings on my walls. But what words do you live by? Okay. Um, like right one, now. Of is, one of mine is, you know, you know, you leave the game on the field. I work as hard as you can. But leave it on the field and don't take it with you and stuff. Things like that. What do you say? Um, right now, the big thing that I'm living by, like the words that I'm living by, right now, like that me and my dad are talking about, is patience. Right now, patience is like really a big thing right now. Just being patient, you know, not like just running my own race, just not trying to not compare myself to anybody, not getting caught up in the offers, the rankings. Just patience, just keeping my head straight. Not worried about just worrying about myself, just knowing that if I just keep on putting the work, God, God's just going to um, take care of me. You know, just control what you can control. Yes, sir. And you can read Twitter. You can read about all these guys doing these offers and stuff. I can almost guarantee you most of those offers aren't committable offers. Right. It's just an offer. That means that you know, we can get into it sometime, but I, I, and it's really important for you, I think, because, you know, you've got to work a little bit harder to get known. You see what I'm saying? You've got to work a little bit harder. And, you know, loyalty and honesty are two of my strengths. They're not my wit, but just you have to work harder. Okay. We talked to thoughts on film study. I gave you that. What advice would you give to a freshman? Um, I would probably tell them that nine times out of ten, you're not just going to hop out here and just be the guy. You know? <laughs> because when I was a freshman, that's what I thought. I had these unrealistic expectations, and I wasn't the guy. Um, my first high school game, I got thrown in the fire. We were getting blown out. We were, my, we were terrible my freshman year. So we, we were getting blown out. My first high school pass was interception. My, basically, I finished the game with two interceptions, probably one completion, and I fumbled. Terrible game. I was a freshman. I thought I was going to come in there and throw uh-huh. five. Games, I didn't throw any. So just tell them that you're not going to be the guy. Stay down and like learn from the people that you're position. Learn from the guy that's there right now, and like take like steal some stuff out of his game. Work on your craft, and then come back and just get better every day, and to, and then like get better until like so you become that guy. Yeah. I think that's really good. I think it's huge. Was there ever a top? Now you're going into your senior year. Was there ever? I call it scrapbook time. Was there ever a, a time that sticks out in your mind you'll never forget? You'll just something, some something you did really, really well. You can talk to your buddies years from now. And say, hey, you remember that game? Was there a game like that so far for you? Or a time like that for you? Um, it's, it's not crazy. that today. what it's crazy. It's it's in basketball. It's my um my eighth grade basketball championship. We were in the um, I, I used to go to Jesu Elementary School and some middle school as well. So in eighth grade for the championship game, we played St. Francis. I'm pretty sure we like we were we came we it was a big comeback and we were down probably like at like like almost twenty at one point. We came we managed to come back. You know, won the championship. It was just a crazy game. Every like the stands were packed, and you know I'm still close to all my guys in every grade. I went to every grade with now today, so that's just a really special game. We always come back and talk about that there and now. That's really good. I'm oh, super. Okay, what what's the best thing about playing football? Um, the best thing about playing football, in my opinion, 
it's just you could just go out there and just it's just like you're just out there having fun it's just I, I I can't even put it into in words. It's just like a fun game. Like when you're playing football, you're not worried about you're, you just zone everything else out, and it's all about winning the game. It's like eleven people that's on the field just come together for one bigger goal, and that's just amazing. That's really opinion. good. And, and a lot of guys I have on here talk about the team aspect of it. Call right. it a big team as a, a big fraternity. It's a big group of guys getting together and. And, and having each other's back and stuff like that. I, I think it's huge. Right. Okay, just a few more questions. We talk about, and I really think this is important, energy. Energy is a big thing. And I don't mean energy to run so fast, but, but I mean energy. Like, to, I have energy to get up and do this podcast. Right. And I get, because I, I really enjoy it, and I think I'm okay with it. What energy do you bring to the team? Especially as a quarterback, what energy do you bring to the team? Um, I bring positive energy energy to the team. You know, my dad always taught me from a young age that, you know, if, like he always told me just to fix my attitude. I used to have a bad attitude when I was a kid. If I didn't, if I didn't want to do it, I wasn't putting my full attention into it. You know, but as a quarterback, you know, you got to always bring positive energy because if your energy is down, the whole offense energy is going to be down. The offensive line's energy is going to be down. You know, so it's just like if you believe, I feel like the whole office is going to believe. And if you if you're having positive energy, it's just going to feed back on everybody. Yeah. And going into your senior year, you better have it. Plus, you better walk it. Yes. You better be able to talk it because you're, you're the leader now. Yes, you're not that little freshman that threw two interceptions, a fumble, and stunk up the field. Yeah. You're going to be there. Right? And a long way from that. And they and they count on you, and your yeah. teammates count on you. That. Was there ever a time for you when the light came on, when the switch was, you said, hey, it's time, I got to get after it. You know, you just said, this is enough. Is there ever a time when you that happened to you, when you said, I got to step it up? Um, I would probably say the, um, the start game this year, that was, um, I'd say week nine. You know, that was, that was actually kind of personal for me because, Last year, they beat us pretty bad. It was 35-0 before halftime, and they canceled the game after it was 35-0 at halftime. The weather was bad, so they didn't let us play, come up for yeah. the second half, you know. And they was just, like, talking just talking mess all, all year, saying how I just wasn't that good, how my team wasn't that good. You know, I just we just used that as motivation to the offseason, you know. And that game, I was, I, was just almost, I was almost perfect, you know. I threw four mm-hmm. touchdowns, four touchdowns, and just I, I just wasn't missing any of my throws, and we ended up beating them pretty bad. Well, that's good. That's, and it was that time to step up as a football player, too, I think. Yes. And step up and say, no, you know, I got to get going. And I think that's huge, by the way. Okay, I'm going to come to Toledo Scott. And I've been to Scott. I've been to Woodward. I've been to all those schools for games and schools for football. What? What is your best? I'm going to drive up there, and I'm going to see you. What's your best quality? You're going to show me your best quality. What is that? What's your best quality as a person? My best quality as a person, you know, me as a person, I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm the most outgoing person, but I'm a really respectful person. If you get to know me, I'm a, I'm a really kind person. I'm a, I feel like I, I attract people towards me. I, you know, I'm a funny person. Um, I like, I, I usually like to stay in the house. You know, I don't really like to go out, but. I like to be among my friends, my family, for the most part. But I, I feel like I attract people towards me. Good. Be yourself. Okay. Uh, let's talk about recruiting just a little bit, and we're done. I, I It's a great interview. Okay. You are a class act. Now, right. tell me about recruiting. Are you going to go to any camps this summer? Um, I plan on going to camps. I just don't have any scheduled right now, but. As of now, I got. I have a couple. Like this spring, I have a couple showcases and camps that I'm planning to go to. Where? I have a couple showcases that I'm planning to go to and camps. Okay. I'm okay. And then the recruiting's just starting a little bit for you. Um, you know, I know Toledo, and you get people are getting your name. Your name's out there. Now I think you just, you know, quarterbacks especially, they have to get in front of people. Right. Nobody's real. I mean, they blow smoke, but nobody's got a really off a committable offer until they've seen them. Right. Yeah, they're not going to do that. I mean, 
unless the kid's a total, total superstar. Right. There aren't very many of those guys around. So I really appreciate you you talking and taking the time, okay, to talk to me. Thank and, you so uh, much. I, I just, uh, it's good. And it's so good for me because I get to know people. I think we're done. Well, tell me one more thing. And what do you want to be doing in 10 years from now? 10 years from now, I just want to be somewhere like financially set that I just, I don't have to like look over my shoulder for anything. I want to be set, have my mom, my dad set, you know, just for not just for life, just pay them back for everything they're doing for me right now. You know, have a good, sustainable job somewhere, whether it be in the NFL or it be somewhere else, you know, have a college degree by then. Just live like a good life. Don't have have to worry about what I'm going to eat like that next day. Just real, like, comfortable life. Carnell, thank you very much for being on my show. Thank you, Brian. I really appreciate it. Okay?